Hi guys, Sarah here. Um, I'm a little sick, I'm sorry, but um, I haven't recorded a video in a long time, and I felt the need. So I'm going to be talking about why go to a Christian college. Um, I'm going to a Christian college, not the one here. This is my second choice. Um, I was thinking about it for a long time, and I, went, I wanted to go to UK for a long time. You know, the University of Kentucky. <coughs> And I went on a college visit, and I got to thinking about it, and I was like, I don't feel, right, you know, like, how just some things, like, connect. Oh, jeez. That light right there. Anyway. Ignore that. Uh, and I was just like, well, if I go to a Christian college, you know, that's where you usually meet your spouse. Why would I take the chance of not having a Christian spouse? <laughs> and plus, at a private Christian school, the student-teacher ratio is a lot smaller. At the school I'm going to, it's 12 to 1. I think at UK, it's like 30 to 1, which is like crazy. <laughs> but the school I'm going to is about 8 hours away. And I'm really excited about it. I got recruited for volleyball, which is great. They don't have a track team. Otherwise, I would have you know, gone out for that, too. But it's great, and I'm in love with it, and I'm so excited to go, and it's a few months away. It is kind of scary, though. <laughs> I, I'm in love with all my friends, and we're all going our separate ways, and it's going to be so sad. But I already promised them bridesmaid places at my wedding. <laughs> so I'm really excited about it. Um, oh, but I, I did want to show you guys any braid I learned. Random, I know. <laughs> but... Uh, Go to a private Christian school because, uh, Jesus, and, um, meeting a spouse, and I mean, my hair's in a ponytail today, don't judge, it was in the braid earlier, but, uh, I went to practice, oh, yeah, yeah, um, you're gonna divide your hair into two, and you're gonna twist them into it towards each other, bang, will get out of the way. Put a finger through the side, through both of them, and then split it apart at the part you just did. Oh, my hair's tangly. And that's the new section. So you do that again, twist them in towards each other, put a finger in through the side horizontally, if I can get it, uh, and split apart. And that's another section, new section. Twist in. Exciting. Sorry, Sex in the City's on. <laughs> I'm in love with that show. I actually just watched Sex and the City 1 a week ago. It's been out forever. I just realized how crappy my voice sounds. Yeah. And you put it through horizontally. You guys can see that. Twist in. Put it through. Have we done today? I'm not, I can do one more. I, uh, I learned this from B Boxo. Is that her, is that her name? Uh, she has a really cool channel. Go check her out. Uh, and one more. I can fit one more in there. Ah, oh, I need to stop watching that. And secure it with elastic. Yep. This is what it looks like. It looks really cool. It looks like a really loose braid. But I, I like it. Uh, I can never get to like lay flat though. It always likes to twist to the side. Um, but that's called the alternative braid. It's a really cool alternative 
to a regular braid. And yeah, uh, like this and subscribe. You know, this is called dedication. I'm really sick. <laughs> and I'm posting videos. So, subscribe right now. Alright, bye guys.